All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna to be trying some more delicious looking Burmese food in Bangkok. Today, though, we are down in Little India, Pahura. At first glance, this looks like any other street in this area, but one closer look will tell you that it's something different altogether. So we're gonna weave down these little back streets, try and find this little Burmese restaurant. But first, I wanna show you the most famous samosas in Bangkok. All right, guys, so we're just outside the India Emporium. There's a little alleyway next to it, which we're gonna be walking down to find our little restaurant. But first, at the entrance is a super famous samosa shop. They sell samosa, pakora, tiki, uh, but we're here for the samosas. So look, we're talking hand wrap, guys. Brilliant's been made today. Look at that. Ready for the fryer. And uh, everything here is handmade Punjabi samosa style. Using gram flour, chickpea flour. H how long have you been here? Ah, okay. 25 years, wow. Okay, thank you so much. Are you here every day? Mm, yes. Every day, okay. Thank you so much. Bye bye. All right, then off we go down this little alleyway. We'll stop and eat our samosas somewhere down. Somewhere down here. There's a lot of food, a lot of people sitting out eating. Oh, looks good. Big as you'd expect, Burmese community down here. Oh, Indian sweets. Now this, my friends, reminds me of being back at home in Harrow. These are everywhere where I live, everywhere. Oh, look at these. So we could, we could pick up a pack of these on the way back. So the reason I want to show you this little Burmese restaurant so badly is because they have some super unique dishes, one of which you just do not see in Bangkok anywhere. I was put onto this as you'd expect by OTR, Off The Rails, food and history channel on Bangkok. One of, if not the best food channel on YouTube at the moment. Um, they actually put me on to the last one at that Burmese market. So thank you guys, links in the description. There's a really good Muslim restaurant here as well, like a Muslim Khao Geng restaurant. We're heading down this little back street. Oh, we've got it. Is this it? That's a chair shop. So this is a vegetarian restaurant for anyone who doesn't eat meat. Good veggie, good life. Well, that smells incredible. Look, another Indian sweet shop. It smells amazing. Oh, I found it. So I think you could actually walk out of the back of India Emporium, but you just walk literally down that little alleyway, past the samosas, turn right about 100 meters up on your right hand side. I've got to ask if I can film here because I haven't called ahead. I mean, this is my style. Look at this. It's like a, it's like a, it's like a mini supermarket. Just a couple of tables outside, a couple of chairs outside. This is a good practice for when I'm in Vietnam next week, except these are a little bit bigger. All right, so we're on guys, we're on. All right, this is the menu. So what I've come to uh, try is the, right, this little number, which I know from the north as Tua Pu On. Right, dry cow soy, we'll have that. We'll have the yum as well, the tea leaf salad. I need tong tawu. Tofu piok. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'll ning jan na. I'll kao soy hang na. Okay, 
ราอยู่นี่เกือบ20ปีแล้ว20ปีนะโอเคน o o d l e s a l right here it is that thick, that thickened chickpea flour batter. Batter, not really a batter, is it? It's a sauce. Right, and on top, chili oil with sesame, sweet dark soy sauce, peanuts. Coriander, look at this, a work of art. Can you see your d a m m See your d a m m See your one. Ah. Ooh. And with that, we've got the, uh, we've got the. t a k d o n g h a s a m i a m a Man. m o n i c h i Yeah. <laughs> okay, all right. We've got it. We've got it. We've got it. So next up, we've got the dry c a l s o y Say pig. Say t o i l e song. n a m a n g a So sesame oil, peanuts, chili. อะไรนะตัวตัวตัวลิโตมาจากมาจากไหนเนี่ยมาที่ไหนครับมิชินาโอ้โอเคอันนี้คืออันนี้ชิคเก้นชิคเก้นอันนี้แกงนะ so we got a chicken we got a chicken curry here and then a the tea leaves แล้วปะโต Tea leaf salad, fermented tea leaf salad. Oh, I can't wait for this. All right, guys, we're a little bit tight in here. I will show you what we've got. So first of all, I want to I want to start with this uh, chickpea tofu number. Tofu biao. Tofu biao. Tofu biao. Biao. Okay, tofu biao. Good job. I've got some translators next to me. All right, so guys, this thick, gloopy. Sauce is made out of chickpea flour, ground chickpea flour, turmeric, and a bit of corn flour. We got peanuts on there, ground peanuts, sesame, a little bit of coriander, and some sweet dark soy sauce. I'm gonna mix all that together. Underneath that, we got sort of you can't see them because it's such a gloopy mess, but in a glorious way, we've got some rice noodles, some thick rice noodles. All right, we're just going to throw on this, this uh, pak dong, this. This Burmese kimchi, this Shan steak kimchi. I'm calling it Shan steak because my friends are from Shan, and that's uh, what they give me. So I'm going to put that on. Oh, this looks absolutely incredible. Look at that velvety, rich sauce. Again, what they're calling Burmese. Kimchi, that pickled veg. We got that chicken curry. So we got onions in there, a little bit of turmeric, some spices. I'm guessing thinner rice noodles, kind of like pad thai noodles, a little bit, um, and some more pickled veg. That's with chili oil. She said namanga, namanga, sesame oil, uh, and peanuts. All right. Then last but not least, we got that fermented tea leaf salad, the lepeto. And this one, guys, is fermented tea leaves, lime juice. We've got peanuts in there. We've got some fried broad beans, some cabbage, coriander, tomatoes. Just fresh, crunchy. This one's all about textures. Look at that. All right, guys, this is a little bit cramped in for a big body like mine, but we will persevere. So first things first, I'm gonna go in with this. b u r m e s e tofu number. Mm. Mm. The only other place I've had this is when I haven't made it myself. 
is in Chiang Mai. By the bus stop in Chiang Mai, there's a little Yunnan place there that do similar noodles. So I'm pretty sure this is Burmese via Shan State via Yunnan. There's a background flavor of five spice, and I think that's in the chili oil that she put in at the bottom. And I've had that before. Usually you get a curry on top of this, or an inverted commas of curry, um, which involves chili, tomatoes, and fire spice. But I'm getting that sort of background flavor of cinnamon and star anise. But the main thing you get from this is just a rich, creamy, velvety mouthfeel. Mm. You've got that nuttiness coming through from the sesame seeds, that salty, sweet hit from the sweet dark soy sauce there is so much going on here but the main hit you're getting is a nuttiness a sweetness it's savory it's sour from those amazing Burmese pickled vegetables so the dish itself is incredible I could have just eaten what she gave me at the start without adding anything to it at all but these patlong the pickled vegetables out of control sometimes as much as I like the Thai Chinese ones, they can be really, really sweet and overpowering. Comforting. Comforting is the way that I'm going to describe this dish because it's like carb on carb. The chickpea flour, thick, almost like bechamel sauce. It's like a thick bechamel sauce and uh, unbelievably well flavoured. And I've said a lot that sometimes it's not just about the food I'm eating. Like this is incredible, like really, really incredible. I know exactly what Adam was saying when he came down here. But sometimes it's just more about like um, memories that it invokes. So eating that pickle number, and I'm guessing the cow soy, because this looks like I had cooked for me. My friends from Shan State, so big shout out to Nong and Mo if you're watching, used to make me something similar to this cow soy, or cow soy, and bring me bags full of this pickled sort of Burmese uh, kimchi. So just brings me back to that, you know, sitting down, enjoying a meal with my friends. Beautiful. All right, so I'm gonna get some of these noodles, some of that chicken curry, a little bit of the pickles. Right, so the chicken's almost got like a sort of chicken tikka vibe going on. Turmeric, loads and loads of garlic, heavy on the shallots or the onions. Mm. The noodles are fantastic. She's just blanched them, so they retain a lot of bite. Al dente, if you will. Mm. And they've taken on all that spice from the chicken, but then you've also got like a background here of like, again, that nuttiness coming from the sesame oil. So you've got sesame oil on here, some chili, and then, it's spiked already in the bowl again with those delicious delicious pickled vegetables and last but not least we've got this delicious tea leaf salad pickled fermented tea leaves cabbage as I said fried Broad beans, fried chickpeas, onions, cabbage. You've got a lot of crunch, a lot of texture. Mm. So as you'd expect, you've got a real funky sourness from the tea leaves. Mm. punctured by a big hit of 
Raw garlic, there's quite a bit of raw garlic in here. There's a sour agent, I think there's lime juice in here. So you've got like a citrusy here. You've also, as I said, just texture on top of texture on top of texture. If you haven't had this dish, this is one of the world's great salads. There's just everything you need here. Mm. I love the freshness. I love the freshness of the tomatoes lifting everything. But these crunchy little beans, the two different types of beans, the chickpea or legumes, chickpeas and broad beans. Mm. And that crunchy salad is just so fresh, so delicious. You have to come here. Right, I can't rate the samosas because we haven't eaten any of them yet, but I'm going to rate the rest of it out of 10. 10. Haven't finished that, but I will in a sec. 10. 10. I mean, this one is insane. You, you, you're not going to find anything else like this anywhere else. This is just such a unique noodle dish. So if you're a noodle head like me, this is your one. I've just forgot to mention, there's a pile of chili on the table and I haven't put it in anything. So everything was spicy enough for me. I could have added chili, but I didn't need to. Those pickled vegetables are spicy as. Bye bye. Cheers, good morning. Like how's it? Come on, Gab. I like pasta, but I'm not allowed. Sakao ne. Sakao ne. Sakao ne. Okay, come on, Gab. Bye bye. Cheers, good morning. Guys, food absolutely incredible. Honestly, that was one of the best meals I've had in months. I needed something to get me out of the almost monotony that I found myself in of just eating the same thing over and over again. That, my friends, was special. Super friendly owner. She's been here for 20 years. Cup and cup. Aloy na. Oh, aloy mark. Oh, cup. A hand high. Aloy tea suit. A hand high aloy mark. Cup. 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 Beautiful. Look at the colours, guys. I think they got ghee. Incredible sounds, incredible smells, incredible looking shots. I'm gonna have to come back and do a full video in Little India because it's absolutely criminal that I haven't actually shown you this area. It's an area I used to come down a lot. Not so much now. I live a little bit further away. But as I said, we're right near Chinatown, so we're we're in the tourist area of Bangkok. So if you're in Bangkok. Flower market's just down there. Chinatown's just up there. The temples are just over there. So this is a spot you can easily, easily reach. And I will be back to try some of these sweets, some of the Indian food. I've got an Indian restaurant in there. I've got to show you guys, but we will come and do a very deep dive. Before I go though, let's eat these samosas. All right, so you've got that gram flour puff. I call these Punjabi samosas. Please correct me, any of my Indian viewers, if I'm wrong. Very simple filling of potato. We've got some coriander in there. So some cumin seeds in there, chili. Onion. Oh yes. It's like, look, I'm sure I don't have to explain to you what samosa tastes like, but such a difference with these handmade wrappers rather than the sort of spring roll style wrappers you get which i also enjoy but crispy crunchy buttery the filling is insane mm. very simple as i said just chili potato salt a little bit of onion and that's all you need to be selling samosas for 25 years Oh, delicious. Thank you. The best. Thank you. All right, guys, that ends my amazing yet brief little trip down to Little India. I will be back. I hope you come back and join me again. If this is your first time on the channel, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for watching. Again, I love you very much, and I will see you in the next one.